Hello, what's up guys? It's Dr. Mozam Tivana here and in today's class we are going to talk about what is the base station identification code and what is its use. <coughs> so when you talk about the base station identification code, basically it is composed of two fields. One is the network color code which is of 3 bits and other is the base station color code it which is also of 3 bits. Now as you can see that for a network the base station color code would repeat after every 8 base stations. So base station identification code is not meant to be unique in the whole network for all the base stations but is it is meant to be unique in the immediate neighboring base stations the base station identification code needs to be unique and why it is needed we will come uh, to see later and this base station identification code is basically broadcast on the SCHR the synchronization channel now what first of all we come to the usage example of base station color code for example there is an operator A and this is a mobile subscriber of an operator A now whenever you power up this mobile in the area of this base station what would it happen it would first of all try to identify and connect to the network using the BCH carrier frequencies now as the frequencies are reused uh, in a GSM network so it is possible that these other four base stations which are encircled in the red uh, use the same carrier frequencies so this mobile station uh, would have same frequency uh, signals for on the carrier of this, this base station this base station this base station this base station and this base station so how this mobile station is going to differentiate between these base stations this would be possible because these base stations would have different base station color code so the base station color code is basically used to identify the base stations in a mobile within a mobile network which use the same BCH carrier frequencies now we come to the usage of network color code and network color code is especially useful in the case when you have uh, the borders between different countries because it is possible that in country A there is an operator A which uses the same frequencies as uh, in country B uh, there is an operator B that uses that frequencies also so in that case what would happen for example if you power up this mobile it would try to identify and connect to the network using the base BCH carrier frequencies now in the, this case you can see that in the country A the operator A is also using the same frequencies so this mobile station would receive signal from these two base stations on the top as well so how would this mobile station uh, differentiate between the BCH carrier frequencies of these base stations uh, this would be possible thanks to the network color code because the network color code would be uh, set different in the in this case